Hey guys, today I got another petrified fish knife, model number PF719, and it is chambered in Sandvik 12C27N. Very nice steel, beautiful stone wash blade. Round G10 scales. And their logo is inlaid into uh, the left side of the scales instead of the pivot pin. It did come with this lanyard and bead, metal backspacer with the lanyard hole. It is a liner lock and they are nested inside the scales. This thing is super sharp, but I ran out of paper, so I don't have any in the shop. Dual thumb studs. I'll probably be taking that lanyard off. But I was at Red Hill Cutlery today in Radcliffe, Kentucky. If you're in the area, I highly suggest you go check them out. They got tons of knives, beautiful knives. But they do not carry petrified fish. And I showed him my beluga because he said he never heard of them. The guy at the store, I believe he's the owner. And he said, man, that's a really nice knife. I was like, yeah, dude, I hope you start carrying them. Obviously, I've already opened the box. And what I like about the petrified fish knives is they have these little, I guess, tamper evident stickers on the ends. Usually they're on the sides, but uh, that's pretty cool. That way you can tell nobody's tampered with the knife or messed with anything inside. And as usual, comes with the knife in this Ziploc bag with their logo on it. And I save all my boxes to my knives. Desiccant pack. Cleaning cloth. And their sticker. With their website. PFEDC.com I highly recommend you go check them out. They're on Amazon. I believe White Mountain Knives sell them. I think they're on eBay. But I believe that you'll find most of their knives on their website. They might not have some on eBay or Amazon. But yeah, guys, I really love these knives. Uh... For what you pay for these knives, you know, you're getting a deal. And they just make some beautiful knives. I highly recommend them, guys. I don't know if I'm going to put my edge on this or not. Because I really don't think it needs it. It's way sharp. I'm running out of hair on my arm. I mean, yeah, guys. Gross. I guess I could have done that instead of uh, cutting the paper, but... It is what it is. Yeah, guys, go check these knives out. If... I'll tell you what, if you buy one of these, any of their knives, and you are not satisfied, I will personally give you your money back for them.
Thanks for watching, guys, and stay sharp.